Frozen Elsa and Anna's ice boat adventure, in the heart of Arendelle, it was a beautiful winter day. The snow sparkled under the sunlight like diamonds, and the air was filled with the magic of the season. Elsa and Anna, the two royal sisters, were always ready for an adventure, especially when it involved the snowy Elsa. Anna called as she burst into the Grand Castle's hall, her face glowing with excitement. I have the best idea ever. Let's go on an adventure, an ice boat adventure, Elsa smiled, her eyes twinkling. An ice boat? That sounds amazing, Anna. But where should we go? I've heard stories about a magical frozen island across the fjord. Anna said with enthusiasm. They say it's filled with sparkling ice sculptures that glow in the dark and enchanted snow creatures. We have to see it, Elsa laughed softly. That sounds like a place worth visiting. All right, let's go. With a wave of her hand, Elsa used her ice magic to create a beautiful ice boat, shaped like a sleek, glimmering swan. It had frosted sails that sparkled in the sunlight and smooth, icy seats for them to sit in, Anna clapped her hands, bouncing on her toes. This is amazing, Elsa. Let's go, let's go, the sisters hopped into the boat, and Elsa gave it a gentle push with her magic. The boat glided over the frozen fjord, cutting through the ice with ease. Sven, Kristoff's loyal reindeer, and Olaf, their ever-cheerful snowman friend, joined them on their journey. Sven trotted happily alongside, his hooves tapping on the ice, while Olaf sat at the front of the boat, humming a little tune, I love this. I've never been on an ice boat before. Olaf exclaimed, his carrot nose wiggling with excitement, the boat moved swiftly, and the wind blew through their hair as they passed glittering icebergs and snowy hills. The fjord was peaceful and quiet, with only the sound of the boat gliding over the ice, are we there yet? Olaf asked, peering out over the icy horizon. Almost, Anna said, pointing ahead. Look. I think I see the island, in the distance, a shimmering land of ice rose from the sea, glowing with an ethereal blue light. Elsa guided the boat closer, and soon they arrived at the shore. The island was more magical than they could have imagined. Giant ice sculptures of animals, trees, and castles lined the shore, all glowing softly in the fading sunlight, wow, Anna whispered, her eyes wide. This place is incredible, as they stepped off the boat, the ground beneath them sparkled like it was made of millions of tiny snowflakes. Elsa knelt down and touched the ice. There's something special about this place, she said. The ice here feels alive. Suddenly, a soft sound echoed through the air, like the tinkling of tiny bells. From the snowy forest ahead, small, glowing snow creatures appeared. They had round bodies, big eyes, and glowed in colors of pink, blue, and purple. They looked curious but friendly, hello. Olaf waved. Who are you guys? The little snow creatures chirped in response and danced around the group, leaving trails of sparkling snowflakes in their wake. One of them bounced up to Elsa and nudged her hand with its tiny snowball head, they're friendly. Anna giggled as one of the creatures jumped onto her shoulder, making her laugh as it tickled her neck. The creatures led the group deeper into the island, through winding paths lined with shimmering icicles. As the sky darkened, the sculptures around them began to glow brighter, casting a soft light on everything. It was as if the whole island was made of stars, at the heart of the island, they found a gigantic ice palace. It was grander and more magnificent than anything Elsa had ever created. Its walls were made of crystal clear ice, and at the top of the tallest tower was a glowing blue snowflake that lit up the sky, who could have built this? Anna wondered, her eyes wide with awe. Elsa smiled. It must have been created by magic just like my ice powers, but maybe even older. As they explored the palace, they found a beautiful frozen fountain that shimmered with every color of the rainbow. At its base, there was an inscription in the ice. Elsa knelt to read it aloud, to those with hearts full of warmth, this palace will always be open. May you find joy and wonder within its walls, Anna smiled. Hearts full of warmth. That sounds like us, right? Elsa chuckled. 
I think it does, after spending time exploring the magical island, playing with the snow creatures, and marveling at the beautiful ice sculptures, it was time to return home. The sisters, along with Sven and Olaf, climbed back into the ice boat. As they sailed back to Arendelle, the glowing island slowly disappeared from view, but the magic and memories of their adventure stayed with them, that was the best ice boat adventure ever. Anna said, hugging Elsa as the castle came into view, Elsa smiled and squeezed her sister's hand. And there will be many more to come.